This is how to add chat commands to TikTok Live. This one's aimed at people with a stream key or live studio, but some of these can work for phone streamers too. And let's start with what this can't do. TikTok doesn't allow bots like Nightbot or Streamlabs here. So the result of any chat command gets played directly on your live. To add commands, we're using Tickfinity. I've linked both Tickfinity and my more extensive Tickfinity guide in the description. If you haven't already, click the setup page here, click login or register, and then click sign up at the bottom to make an account. Don't forget to add your username into the box here. One final important thing to note before we start is while you're live on TikTok, you must keep the Tickfinity website either open or minimized. If you don't do that, it's not going to work and you should always refresh the website immediately after going live. So let's look at what chat commands you can add and then we'll add a basic example. So to start, we click actions and events on the left and click create new action. And then we have to decide what to add. As you can see here, there's a lot of different options. You could show an animation on the screen, a picture or a GIF. You could play an audio sound file, including choosing from a library of pre-selected sounds. You could also play any video with your command, including YouTube videos. And you can put text on the screen and read messages out loud with text to speech. The final four options are a bit more advanced, but you can use it to switch OBS scenes, activate OBS sources, set a Snapchat camera effect, or even trigger webhooks. However, for our example, I'm just going to add a basic age command, which outputs my age on the screen and plays a brief sound. So adding a command is a three part process. So I'm going to start by creating a new action here and I'm going to call it age command. Like I said, we're going to output my age on the screen and we're going to play a brief sound. So let's start with the sound. I click on play audio here and you can either upload your own audio file or what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick it from this library of sounds here. So this sound library contains thousands of popular sounds. You can just search for what you want. So for me, I'm just going to play the Discord notification sound. So if I type in noty, press play on this. As you can hear, just briefly, it played the Discord notification sound. So I just press apply and now I've attached the Discord notification sound. Of course, what I really also want to do is output my age on the screen. So that is this one here, show alert, user and text. So by default, it's showing their profile picture and their username. Then I'll add some text saying, I am 29. I could then change the color using this option here. And if I go in the global overlay settings, I could actually remove the profile picture here and put everything on one line of text. So what this would do on screen, it would say, Username, I am 29. So add anything else you want your command to do. If I scroll down a little bit, I can pick any duration for the command to be on the screen. I can also add or remove channel points and we'll talk in a bit more detail about channel points later on, but I'm not gonna add any channel points for now. You can look at these other options too. Typically the default is just fine. So I'm gonna leave it on the default and I'm gonna click on this one to copy the screen, but we'll come back to screens later. So don't worry too much about that now. I'll just hit save. Like I said, this is a three part process. So next we need to make a new event and this is where we choose the command name. So I've cleared out the command I already had added so I can show you guys again. Let's hit create new event here. And firstly, you need to decide who can trigger the event. Obviously, typically you want everybody in the chat to be able to trigger it, but you could set it to subs, gifters or specific people or any of these options. Now here's the key part. We choose commenting a command and obviously my command is going to be exclamation point age. This level thing here is for the channel point system. We'll mention it later, but typically leave it on zero so everyone can use it. And then of course the action we made, which is the age command will be triggered. So once again, that's going to play a sound and it's going to output the text on the screen showing my age. Before we hit save, this last one here is interesting because it can randomly pick actions. So if I very quickly just hit save and I make another new action, which says I'm 28 and I'll just call it 28, just so I can quickly show you guys an example. I'll just hit save. So now if I go back and edit my age command, if I remove the initial age command from the list of actions and then add both the one which says I'm 28 and the one which says I'm 29 to the random action list, there's now a 50-50 chance it's going to output on the screen that either I'm 28 years old or I'm 29 years old. A more sensible example I've seen is a streamer saying that they'll guess what Hogwarts house you're in if you type a certain command. And then obviously the command randomly picks from four different Hogwarts houses and outputs it on the screen. Of course, we have one final important step, which is to add it to your streaming software. 
As you can see here, the age command is on screen one. So if you didn't copy the URL for screen one, then just scroll down a bit and just click on this one here and it will automatically copy it. Now I'll show you how to add it to both OBS and to Live Studio. We'll start with OBS and if you're on Streamlabs, this is basically exactly the same method. So all I'm really doing here is I'm going in my OBS sources and adding it as a browser source. I'll name it Tickfinity Screen 1, if I can spell it correctly. There we go. I'll now just press OK and I'll paste the link into this box here. Then you need to choose your width and your height. All I'm doing is outputting text which says I'm 29 years old. So I think the default width and height is fine for this. Another important checkbox here is shut down the source when you're not visible, especially if you're playing sound because if you have a different scene open on OBS, sometimes it can still play. So make sure you have that box ticked and then just press OK. And there's nothing showing, but the screen has been added to OBS. And I'll show you how to test that in a little bit. If you're on Live Studio, it's a similar step, except it's called a link source. So just press add source here, click on link, and then just paste in the screen link here. Set yourself a custom resolution if you want it to be different than 800 by 600. Make sure turn on sound is selected, especially of course if you're playing any sound. And then just click add source. And as you can see, we've now added it. Finally, for both of these, you can test it to make sure it's working. So for me, you're going to hear two lots of audio because I've actually got Live Studio and OBS open. All you have to do is press this play button here next to the action. So let's hit play. And again, you heard it twice and you can see it's showing on both OBS and Live Studio. So that is what you would hear and see if a user in my chat typed exclamation mark age. Before we look at text to speech, let's pay some bills with NordVPN and let's explain why NordVPN can help you with TikTok. Thanks to NordVPN, you can head to nordvpn.com slash WGMojo, all one word, and get up to 69% off NordVPN. Yes, that's right, 69%. As well as protecting your online safety, did you know you can use NordVPN to download Live Studio? Just set your NordVPN to the UK, and now you have access to the Live Studio website. Another great benefit is you can make TikTok accounts for different countries. Let's say I'm a baseball fan. Obviously, the UK isn't my target audience, so I would want an American TikTok account. So I would just set my NordVPN to one of these many US locations and then head back to the TikTok website and make myself a US account. So head to nordvpn.com slash WGMojo, all one word, and take advantage of the massive discount. Now back to text to speech commands. I have a full TTS guide linked in the description, but basically on the text to speech chat page here, if a user types one of these commands, which is outlined here, then the message gets read out loud on stream. Here's an example. Test user says this is a test. As long as you have access to a PC or a Mac, this works even for phone streamers. There's no browser sources to add. Literally all you have to do is once you go live, refresh the Tickfinity website, click once anywhere, which activates the sound on the page. And then the sound plays from your browser. It's that simple. Text-to-speech commands are great. Personally, I allow my subs and the top three gifters to use it. Once again, full TTS guide linked in the description. So let's move on to channel points. So we're going to click on setup here. Then you want to decide how many points your viewers are gaining for gifting coins, sharing the live, and for every minute that they type in chat. We scroll down a bit. You can also give your subscribers a channel point bonus. And if we expand this section here, you can see once your viewers hit a certain amount of points, then they level up and you can decide how quickly or how slowly they level up by changing the level multiplier and by changing the points. Now the channel point system is useful to stop viewers from spamming commands. As you saw earlier, if I click back on actions and events and go back to my age command, you can add points or remove points when people type a command. So for example, I could remove five channel points just by changing this option to five and pressing save. Now it makes it harder for them to spam the age command because they have to accumulate channel points first. Of course, if they didn't have five points, it simply wouldn't trigger the command. Now let's look at this chat command screen. But first, we actually have to go to this overlay gallery here and add a few things to our streaming software. So let's click on overlay gallery and then click on user info screen. And we're going to add both this and the command info screen to our software. I'm going to use OBS. But remember, if you're adding these links to Live Studio, it's called a link source inside Live Studio. So we'll explain in depth what these do in a second. But firstly, let's just copy them into OBS. So I'll click copy URL and then we'll add it as a browser source here. 
So this one's the user info screen. So I'll just name it what Tickfinity's named it. We'll call it user info screen. And I'll just paste in the link. You can change the dimensions later if you want. Press OK. And now it's been added. So let's add the other one before we test. Let's copy the command info screen again. Press on the plus button to add a new source. Click on browser source. This one's called command info screen. So we'll just input the name of it, command info screen. Once again, just paste in the correct link, change the width and the height if you want to, and then press OK. And then if I hit test, we can see that both here and more importantly on OBS, it's showing the results of the test and it's showing we've added it correctly. Of course, this let me move this around so we can test the other one as well. And you can see that this one's working as well. So you're probably a bit confused about what they're doing. So let's click back to chat commands to explain that. Firstly, you can customize the wording on any of these commands just by typing in all the boxes here. But this is what I've got them set to. So the help command to start with just outputs every single available command onto the screen. You probably saw it on OBS just a little bit earlier. The score command outputs onto the user info screen, which shows the user how many points they've got. Along with that, it also shows what level they are. The send command lets you give another TikTok user your points. So if I click on this, it says exclamation mark send 10 Zarity. That would give the developer of Tickfinity 10 points. We will cover the Wheel of Fortune and the coin drop later on. And finally, these bottom ones, they will output the custom commands you've created. So, so far, all we've made is exclamation mark age. So if somebody typed exclamation mark commands, it would just tell them that they can use the age command and nothing else. So it probably makes more sense now, but let's go back on the overlay gallery, click back on user info screen. If I hit test again, you can see it's showing in two places. So you can see 117 is the test user's level and 123456 is the number of points they've got. So that's what happens when they type exclamation mark score. And again, if we test the command info screen again, this is basically the output if a user types exclamation mark help or exclamation mark commands. So staying on this page, let's click on Wheel of Fortune now and let's add this to our software. So the Wheel of Fortune allows users to spin it to gain points, but they could also lose points. So let's add that to OBS again. I'm just gonna copy the URL of the Wheel of Fortune once again go back into my OBS and add it once again as a browser source. Again, if you're using Live Studio, add it to Live Studio as a link source. I'm going to name it Wheel of Fortune, press OK, and then simply just paste in the link. And again, I think actually the OBS defaults are fine. Shut down the source when not visible because it does play audio. You don't want audio accidentally playing. Press OK, move it where you want, and we can now hit test to see that it's working. And let's see exactly how it works by going on the Wheel of Fortune page on Tickfinity. So obviously the user in my example is typing exclamation mark spin and you can change that command on this page to anything else you want. If I go back to the Wheel of Fortune, you can see it's currently costing five points per spin. So that's the gamble. The main win here gives them a one in 24 chance to win this number of points. So 30 points in this example. There is then 21 chances to win points between one and this max normal win. So they have 21 chances to win anywhere from one to 10 points here. And if I click on this, like it says here, two are rivets, meaning there is no win. So there's a two in 24 chance that they get zero points, even though it's cost them five. And if a viewer hits the jackpot or the main win, as it's called here, you can set an action. So if I press change action and create a new action here, you can add any action. So for example, if they hit the jackpot, you could play audio. And then if you show the alert, you could put their name on the screen for hitting the jackpot. So let's quickly add something. Let's make a cheering sound and then let's put their name on the screen. So I'll call the action jackpot win. And then I'm just going to use the sound library again. You could upload your own sound. I'll open the sound library. Let's get a cheer sound going. So we're going to pick the correct cheer sound. Let's try this one. That's a very common one. I'm sure you've heard it before. Let's press apply. So now I've got a cheer sound and I also want to put their name on the screen. So again, by default, it's showing their profile picture and their username. So I'm going to say just hit the jackpot. So what this is going to now say is username, just hit the jackpot. Again, you can fully customize the text with all these options here. I have it set to single line text and no profile picture. And again, you can change the color of the text here as well. Scroll down, change any of the options. They're actually already getting channel points, of course, so you don't need to touch the channel points here. 
And if you pick a different screen, which you don't already have added to Live Studio or OBS, you'll have to add it again. So just as an example, we've changed it to screen two. So make sure you click on the screen two link further down, press save, and now let's add it as a browser source to OBS. And if you're using Live Studio, you add it as a link source. So once again, we have a new screen to add here. So we'll add a new browser source and I'm gonna call it Tickfinity Screen 2. Press OK, and then we just paste in the link. And again, we don't want it to accidentally play sound if we're on a different OBS scene. So shut down source when not visible. Press OK, and now it's added. Of course, you can see it's added here, but we probably want to test it. So we have to click on actions and events and then play the relevant action. So let's play it to test it. And as you can see, test user just hit the jackpot and you can hear the sound playing. Just briefly, you can also fully make your own custom Wheel of Fortune. So you would tick use custom fields here and then add in your own fields. You can see it's grayed out the max win and the main win because you're now adding them here. You still decide the cost per spin at the top and the waiting time before they can spin again. So for each field that you add, choose a color that appears on the wheel and then choose how many points they gain or how many points they lose for landing on it. And then this custom description here is the text or the numbers that appears on the wheel. So make sure it's not many characters. So let's add an example of a Rick roll and we'll make the custom description just say Rick roll. Now we need to choose an action here. We create another new action and we'll name the action Rick roll. We're gonna play audio, open the sound library and then just type in Rick roll. I don't wanna get DMCA'd, so I'm not gonna play it, but I'll press apply, pick anything else you want pick the duration, ignore the channel points because the Wheel of Fortune is doing that for you. Choose which screen it goes on and add the screen to OBS or Live Studio if you haven't already. And then hit save. So now if they spin my custom Wheel of Fortune and they land on the Rick Roll section, it's going to play Rick Roll on the stream and it's going to give them six points. And of course, you can add up to 24 custom fields. So keep adding new fields, decide how many points they gain or they lose. Keep in mind, you don't need to add an action for every single field, but it could be fun. So next, let's click on coin drop and we have this exclamation mark get coin drop command. This is a bit confusing. This is nothing to do with TikTok coins. This is actually a Tickfinity points drop. So this lets your viewers claim free channel points by typing this command, which I've configured to exclamation mark get. In my example here, the viewer can try and claim 1000 channel points and we have five lots of 1000 channel points available, but the viewer is being put on a 20 second timeout after typing exclamation mark get, so they can't spam it. And in actual fact, also I've set it to only one coin for user. It's a bit confusing, but it means even if they type exclamation mark get after 20 seconds, it's not gonna give them another set of coins. You can also automate it down here, but before you press go, we need to actually add it into our streaming software. So click on overlay gallery, the bottom option coin drop, copy the URL, and then if you're on Live Studio, add it as a link source. And if you're on OBS like me, add it as a browser source here. So I'm gonna name this coin drop like I'm doing now, press okay and then just paste it in, change the dimensions if you want, and then shut down the source when not visible. Press OK. Now if I click on test on the coin drop, you can see the coins are now dropping. I can spam click it as well. As you can see in the example here, once people are claiming the coins, it's showing their profile picture. Obviously it's just showing the TikTok default right now. Hit subscribe, then hit join if you found this useful. Thank you to Angel, my first ever gold channel member, and I'm sorry if I've said your name wrong. If you need any help with TikTok, you can check out my Fiverr page in the description. And everyone is welcome in my free Discord. And as usual, thanks for watching.